okay let me revisit the functions okay so in general if we recall function has these parts okay function header okay this is the first line that line can say reserved, uh, reserved keyword function output arguments assignment of and the name of the function and the input arguments in parentheses okay so for example here we look at our old function here you can see the function keyword output variables equal sign and function name okay and the radius and height input variables okay after that a comment that describes what function does okay this comment is ignored by the MATLAB compiler you can write anything you want here it should describe how the function works okay you don't have to write it in this format you can write in any comment if I go for help for example here help and if I type the function name in this case Cornwall no okay it will describe this command see okay but whatever you write here it will describe okay so uh, if someone you you can write anything you want describing fun how the function works for someone uh, who's going to use this function okay so you can omit also the comment it's optional okay if you choose you can just leave it blank but later when you look at the function you might forget how the function works okay so when you write a comment describing how the function works uh, also uh, it helps you when you come back for your to your function okay then you can do whatever the calculations or whatever the things you want to do inside the function but you have to make sure you store something in this output argument so the function can return that value whatever the value you stored in this output argument will be returned when user call back the function when user call the function okay so whatever the value you store in this variable is what is accessible outside of the function okay so if I call this function I have to use this format no cornwall and inside I have to give a value for the radius and a height parenthesis okay inside the parenthesis and I can convol this guy remember I have to use it's important to use this inside the parenthesis okay so in this situation I got this 50.265 my answer and at the end so the body of function then you have the end keyword here I have the end keyword here you can see that okay the end keyword also you have to name save the function say use the function name dot m to save your function so my function name is cornwall i use cornwall dot m okay uh, now 
here up to now mostly we use functions that return only one variable so what happens if we want to write a function that will return two variables okay sometimes we, you might have to do that okay so but it's very uh, most of the case it's better to write function to return one variable but there may be situations that require you to write functions returning two variables okay two values so I will show you example of a such a function while how to do that okay so I want to write a new function I will cause this function okay and now I need to write a new function file m file so I will do use this new script okay I will use new script and I will type my function here okay now I wrote my function okay so if you look at here you can see this I have two output variables so inside the bracket I wrote two output variables area and circumference okay area of the circle and now I'm passing the radius uh, radius of the function as a variable radius okay so this function calcul when I give the radius of a function the circle it calculates the circumference and area okay okay so I do area pi radiant radiant here I use this dot it optional uh, if I'm only using it for one variable one radius if I'm passing the function just one radius I can just have multiplication but here in the case if I want to pass three radiuses at once I use this dot operator so I can pass in vectors okay so radius times radius because then do vector operators is to the vector squared by multiplying each element inside of the vector that's why this dot is here okay it's optional if I use only one variable input okay I will show you when I am calling the function okay then the circumference 2 times pi times the radius here I don't have to put the radius because here I'm just multiplying this by the radius keyword okay so to run this one I have to save it first no so I go save this one save I will save it in MATLAB drive because I am using this online thing ok same name as the function so for script files I don't have to do this but for functions I have to use the same name ok of the function here so this is for script files we don't have a name no and only the name we save it so here area circle area of a circle ok I have area circle I am saving by the same name ok now I can call my function first here here I will clear the screen so you can get a clear view okay so if I am calling this function I have to get the get and store the output variable results in two variables now okay otherwise one will be both this a will show the area and b will store the circumference of the circle okay a b
Sorry, there we are. guy no and now I'm giving on the one function radius 3 okay so this will calculate the area and the circumference of the radius 3 function and it will store the area in A and B no Okay, I did choose the semicolon so I cannot see the values of A and B. So I will do without the semicolon so I can see the values. No, this one, no, this command without the semicolon so it will show the values of A and B. Okay, so A is 28.727 and B is 18.84 okay so this is the area and the circumference of the circle okay so if i call my function only with a one radius i don't have to put this dot here i could have just the do could just do radius time radius so here I can do something like this also A B equals I can pass three areas of radius of three functions like three four five now these are the first area of the first circle area of the second circle area of the third circle here circumference of the first circle circumference of the second circle circumference of the third circle okay here the reason I use this dot operator I have to square each individual one no so that's why okay a little bit more explain more on that using the dot thing here for example if I multiply let's say my a is 3 and b is I do a times a no to multiply a by a I can just use star here no it multiplies a by a A by A, okay. But if it is a vector, I want to square it. Okay, let's say A is a vector like this: three, four, six, five, I try to square it. A times A, it will not work because I cannot this is trying to multiply matrices okay it says mismatch because I cannot multiply one uh, 3 by 1 matrix by a 3 by 1 matrix now if I use star here it's try to do a matrix multiplication so to avoid that and multiply each element individually I have to do a I dot a okay so when I do this it works no okay invalid 
what are the sorry the star dot other you know I should do a dot star a sorry okay so four nine twenty five okay you can see like here this one got four nine and twenty five okay this is just to refresh we discuss about these operations before okay uh, you can go to that lesson to refresh further if you want okay so here we use dot here to multiply square otherwise okay but if we want to do matrix multiplication we don't use the dot okay so for example I do a let's say a let's say one two three this one two three okay and I will take a big uh, column vector okay I say four five six or just let's say one two three but column no if that will look like five six this is a column vector now okay now I can multiply a times b you know because a is a row vector and I can use the matrix multiplication operator without a dot thirty two no remember that this will give a scalar because it will multiply one by four plus five by two plus three by six and add all together no so it will give a one by one answer it is doing a matrix multiplication okay it's not multiplying element wise okay so that is the difference of using a dot and not using a dot okay but here I have to give this as a column vector to multiply this uh, row vector no if I'm multiplying a row vector I have to use a column vector to do a matrix multiplication okay because the dimension should match to for the matrix multiplication so the important thing here if I want to return two variables from the function I can use this area and circumference here okay 